Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Kendall Hillegas and I'm an artist and illustrator. I use mixed media to create realistic paintings of people, food, plants, animals, pretty much anything that you can think of. Uh, I use mixed media to draw or paint it. So at a baseline level, mixed media is a really broad category that just means any piece of artwork that has been created using more than one type of media. So as you can imagine, that is a really, really big category. It can include lots of different styles, lots of different types of work. So for the purposes of this class, we're gonna narrow our focus a little bit. We're gonna really zero in on learning to strategically use mixed media to achieve realistic work or to solve specific artistic problems. And this is the way that I use mixed media as a professional illustrator. It's the technique I use in pretty much all of my work. And I'm excited to share this technique with you because understanding and using mixed media in this way, the way that I do as a professional illustrator, can do four pretty amazing things for you. Number one, it lets you have the freedom to choose the best tool for the job instead of being stuck with only a single tool. And number two, that ability to choose whatever works the most efficiently is going to inevitably make you more efficient in your artistic process. The more familiar you get with this way of working, working, the uh, more efficient you'll be with your time in the studio, which means that you can create finished pieces of work faster. And number three, it lets you save or continue working on pieces that you might otherwise have considered a lost cause. So for example, you might come to the end of what is possible with a single media, but if you are open-minded enough and able to incorporate one, two, three, even four other types of media, you can solve all sorts of other problems in your piece and ultimately get it to a state of completion that wouldn't have been possible with just a single media. And last but not least, of course, it's really fun. So working in mixed media can help you bring a real spirit of experimentation and exploration to the studio, which can be really, really rewarding and helpful when you're working in the creative arts. So in this class, we'll learn to use mixed media in this really strategic focus way by first and foremost, having a discussion of the different types of media that are out there, and then an overview of the different characteristics, the strengths and weaknesses of many common media. And number three, an introduction to combining and layering different art supplies, both some of the common combinations that I know to work well, that other artists use as well, and also a process for testing and experimenting with new combinations that you might want to develop yourself. Number four, I will unpack how I choose which media I'm going to use, which combinations I'm going to use in a particular piece. And number five, we'll have two fully narrated demos where I'll create two different mixed media paintings from start to finish. They'll uh, each be made with different combinations, some of my favorite combinations of mixed media so that you can see how I do some of that problem solving and, and choosing of particular media for specific artistic goals. Now, one thing to note, the main focus of this class is actual mixed media technique and how to use it to problem solve and apply to specific artistic goals. So we're not gonna be going over basics like how to draw or perspective or uh, color theory. So because of that, this class is probably best suited for artists to have some familiarity and some comfort in those places already and who are looking to potentially expand their toolkit. So maybe if you are working, used to working in only one media or only one media at a time and you want to learn how to kind of get out of that a little bit and bring other media in and mix it up, then this class is definitely for you. And I would say whether you're a professional or an aspiring artist or a hobby artist, either way, it's going to be a really valuable skill for you to have because if you're a professional like me, time is really so important. So being able to complete work efficiently and not have to go back over and recreate work from the beginning if you've made a mistake or hit a roadblock that's just so important and uh, even if you're an aspiring artist or a hobby artist you know most of the time you might not have as much time as we do to be in the studio working on a painting so uh, it can be especially frustrating if you end up having to start over again or work for several sittings on a painting that you're not able to finish so either way whether you're at uh, one end of the spectrum or the other this skill is just a really invaluable one to have in your toolkit and after completing this course you will be ready to do what I do to evaluate and strategically choose different media to solve your own artistic challenges and goals. And with time and practice, you'll be able to work more quickly, more efficiently, and even with more creativity and open-ended potential. So I hope you can sense my genuine excitement for mixed media. As I said, it's what I use in pretty much all of my professional work. So it's a technique I am really familiar with and just really passionate about, and I'm excited to share it with you. So I hope to see you in the class.